Welcome back. It's now time for your lunchtime sports. Cricket is where we begin. South Africa were 72 without loss in their second innings. This in the post-lunch session on day two of the second test against the West Indies at the Providence Stadium in Guyana. And they lead by 88 runs. Tony DeZorsi, 36, and Aidan Markram, 27, are the batsmen at the crease. Now, earlier... The West Indies were dismissed for 144 in their first innings reply after resuming on a 97 for 7. Former captain Jason Holder top scored for the Caribbean men, uh, carrying on to 54 from his overnight 33. Shamar Joseph also chipped in with a 25 before being last man out. When Mulder took 4 for 32 for the Proteas, he got support from Nandre Berger, 3 for 49, and Keshav, or rather Kashav Maharaj, 2 for 8. South Africa had made 160 in their first innings. The first test had ended in a draw. England-based striker Mikel Antonio says he believes that the reggae boys can qualify for the 2026 FIFA World Cup under newly appointed head coach Steve McLaren. McLaren was appointed by the JFF in early August as head coach on a two-year deal replacing Icelander Hamer Holgrimson. Antonio, who scored Jamaica's first ever goal at Copa America, has thrown his support behind McLaren, the former Manchester United assistant coach. 100%. One thing with Jamaica is they have the quality players. We have the skill to do it. It's just staying tuned in for 90 minutes. But we have the quality. We have the people that could be eligible to play. But 34-year-old Antonio, who has played 18 times for the Reggae Boys, scoring four goals, says he's committed to playing for Jamaica for as long as possible. One thing is I'm always proud of being Jamaican. I'm always proud of being of my heritage. My mum brought me there from the day I was born to I was 16 every single year for six weeks. So playing for Jamaica is definitely something I'm proud of and something I'd always want to do and keep playing for years. And as for his immediate targets, Antonio, who was recently in the USA on preseason preparation with West Ham United and new manager Julian Lopetegui, says he's keeping it simple. Obviously, because we've been in Europe for the last couple of years, I feel like being back in Europe next season is something a target that we've got to set ourselves. Um, me, personally, I always want minimum 10 goals a season, so obviously I want more than that, but minimum is 10 for me. And obviously as I'm getting older, there's a different dimension to my game. I'm starting to come to feet more and try and put, get involved in the game. But I like to be aggressive. I like to be in the fight and get goals, man. Antonio has scored a club record of 67 goals in 254 matches for West Ham United. Now, former champions Manchester United will host Fulham this afternoon at 2 Jamaica time to kick off the new season of the English Premier League with the matches spread across four days. Man United are looking to recover from their worst season since in 1990. Now on Saturday, Arsenal, who are hoping they can finally pip Manchester City to the title, will take on um, the Wolverhampton Wanderers at the Emirates, while Ipswich Town, making their top flight return, will host Liverpool. Champions at Man City, bidding to continue their supremacy in English football, they'll travel to Chelsea on Sunday in some of the most eye-catching games of the opening weekend. And finally, Jamaica suffered a second straight defeat at the World Lacrosse Women's Under-20 Championship, losing 30-3 to, to England in Pool D action in Hong Kong today. Michaela Mitchell with a double and Ariana West were the scorers for Jamaica. The young Jamaicans had lost 13-2 to host Hong Kong in their opening game yesterday. A second straight defeat sees the Jamaicans lying at the foot of the five-team table. They'll next play Japan on Saturday. And that is it for your Lunchtime Sports, and I am Jermaine Brown. Shamela, back to you. Thank you, Jermaine, and that's the Midday News. I'm Shamela Pula, and join us at 7 for Primetime News. On behalf of the new sports and production teams, good afternoon.